First of all, I wrote the program on this program called MPE Lab. I then converted my program I'd wrote to PET using PicShot, which also transferred the program to the PIT chip. When power is supplied to the chip, the program continually runs through a loop which checks if this button is pressed. There are six stages to this loop, one corresponding for each possible output of a diary. When the button is pressed, wherever the program is at that point, it will then go off to a subroutine which will go through all the possible outputs three times and then pause for a delay to build tension. Then it will display the output it was on at that time. Here is an example of the program running through this sequence. Here it has displayed the number 5. Before the die can be rolled again, the system must first be reset. After the output has been displayed, in this case 5, the program will then be in a dormant state continually checking if the reset button is pressed. Once the reset button is pressed, the outputs are cleared over there and it is ready for you to roll the die again. When the program is going through the six stage loop it goes through each of the six possible outcomes so fast that it makes it impossible to cheat and also makes the output seem random. To show this I'm now going to press the button a few times and see the different outputs. Okay, so there we had a 1, a 3, a 4, a 3, a 6, and a 5. So in 6 rolls, we only actually had one repeat, which is perfectly possible in a normal die. And so the system works. If I were to actually build the circuit, the outputs would be arranged in this way so that they look like a real die. 